Tap your hands to heaven. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way.
I speak that you receive an anointing that will make you shine everywhere. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Lord, have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Oh, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Raise those hands as you sit there. You can raise us hands. Have your way. God bless you. We keep you. The Spirit of God that brought you out of everybody else and they spoke to you about this anointing and this grace that will cut your ministry to another level. Prepare your heart for you are getting a package like it never before. My Father, give an outpouring of the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, have your way in Kakameka. The Spirit of God in my life, I transfer a package to you. Receive him now for supernatural accomplishments. Can you thank him, God? Have your way. Becoming one by one. The supernatural grace of God transcend in Eldoret. My Father, receive a new beginning. The supernatural power and grace of God to work supernaturally in Pungoma from this hour. Receive an anointing. Holy Spirit. The supernatural grace of God. This new beginning grace. Receive an anointing. Somebody else, please. Adequate grace. Man of God, Uganda, Uganda, Uganda. I keep saying Uganda. You are a father to many. And the same grace, supernatural power. I see the power of God descending upon you. Receive a grace in Jesus' name. I'm about to. I reach the grace for Kitane. Kitane. The prophet grace. Entebbe, Uganda. Jesus. <laughs> Joy is coming to Entebbe. Entebbe, Uganda. Every spirit that has been opposing is living. Come and assist this. In Jesus' name, receive a grace. That is unlimited. That takes people to places. Receive an anointing in Jesus' name. Man of God, every barrier is removed. Every barrier is removed. Every obstacle. Now receive a grace in Jesus' name. Master, for the new level.
people receive grace in Jesus name Prophet this. Amen. You will see something for, for the nation of Uganda. God has elevated you. You see it. God gives you favor before you ask. Let me pray for one by one. Pray one by one. Thank you. Thank you. Bishop, for Kitare, God is giving you a grace that is not ordinary. I raise an anointing. Receive power to work. The mission of God in Israel, as you are beginning to establish, let God cover you. God is giving you a new dimension. There are people that will be removed from your life. They will be removed, totally removed, so that you can be able to move. Some of them were brought not by God, but by the enemy. So, Pastor, receive an anointing in Jesus' name. Let God remove the barrier that ministry can be able to move. Right now, receive power to serve the Lord. Man of God, Kenneth Matiba, you were invited by a friend. But your heart is excited with the move of God. And God says, through you, great things will happen. Amen. Don't underrate. Amen. You will be directing men of God who will preach with you, Amen. who will serve with you. Amen. Don't go for anybody except that which God tells you. My Father, I raise the grace for the nation of Kitar. Receive power to work for Jesus. Thank you. Jesus is, thank you, my Father. Jesus is Lord. Please bring him to me. This, this adequate anointing for everyone. Receive a good container. You have prayed. You have invested in prayer. Now receive the grace of harvest. Jesus is Lord. There's no more singing. Jesus is Lord. My father, in Jesus' name, this is your son. He cried about the ministry in Kehum. Now you are removing the barrier. He has never been prayed for for a long time. But receive power to change your church. Hey! Oh. It's a new grace, man of God. You have prayed for people. You don't regret. God is giving you a new beginning. He will bring destiny helpers to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Man of God, Omar Bay will rise again. Omar Bay will rise. I see the grace of God moving all over. Omar Bay will rise. Now, receive power to preach God in that city of Omar Bay. God, you must also be able to assist them when they are through a process of the Spirit. Oh, you have the grace for nations. For nations. Pastor Eric. Not just the wrong guy, but for nations. And the God is taking you to nations. You will not be struggling to raise money. He's raising people that will support your ministry. Now receive power in Jesus' name. Jesus is Lord. Man of God. There are people that will be removed from your church. They will go. They will go. And they are, you have spiritual authority. We are not blessing him. We are just commanding a blessing that you cannot beg anymore. God is raising you. You have a desire. I don't, God says about, I don't know, to drive or something. God will do it for you. My father, in the name of Jesus, I respond, receive power to overcome every temptation. Oh, pastor. You are not old to serve God. No. Power to heal the sick. That's your desire. Let them heal in Jesus' name. Receive power to heal. Healing is coming. The power, you shall lay your hand on the sick and they will get well. Now I receive power in the name of Jesus Christ. 
God is taking away your million shit. Life is Jehovah. It's Jehovah. You are a pastor. You are serving God in a supernatural way. And therefore, we are raising a grace and an anointing that you will lay your hand on the sick. Don't fear. Pastors, don't fear to lay hands on the sick. They will get well. They will get well. It begins. They will get well, Pastor. Don't fear. Don't fear. In the name of Jesus, I raise a grace from today. Whoever you lay your hand, they will be healed. They will be healed. Please move, man of God. You are representing the entire of Live to Family. And the God has ordained you to stand in for Live to Family. Supernaturally. You look for me. Let the grace of God come upon you now. Receive power. For Namira County, God is sending you. He has assigned you. You, you told me, you pray that everything of the devil comes to an end today. And God is opening your eyes and a new chapter. Receive power! Be sure, be sure about your calling. Be sure, don't be afraid. You are called of God. Minister, it will not take away anything from you. So God will give you the grace and the honor. Receive power now. Thank you. You are a young man of God. Jesus is doing something in your life already. In this place, receive power to serve God better. Father, in Jesus' name, I raise supernatural grace. Power of God, come upon him. I raise the same grace upon your son. For the prophetic commission in Kakamega also, I raise a grace and an anointing that is coming to supernaturally change everything in your life. Receive that prophetic grace from this hour. Yeah, your pastor. Pastor May, God has given you grace over the media. You sit. That grace is not for a single nation. You need to have a better channel to communicate God's grace. Now, today, receive power to overcome every work of the enemy. Pastor, nobody serves God in faith. This is a grace for a new beginning and a new anointing and a new level. Today marks a new level. Receive the grace. My daughter, Pastor Dorcas, you have prayed for this meeting. One that to have the grace. Now I put upon you a new level and a new beginning and a new anointing to serve in the miracles. To serve in the miracles. Lift up your hands and honor the King of Kings. Pastor, God is with you. He will relieve, He will give you at the Bwana atakupea mkufu na mamlaka na nehema na nehema kwa hiyo usiofu kuanzia sasa panyosha mkono wako kwa wagonjwa kwa amri yangu na watapona pokea ushindi na nguvu ya mbinguni please lift up your hands any pastor I have not prayed for? Oh, please, please. Wapi. Pastor Dorcas.
My father, as I pray for my wife, he told me to pray for her. For a new grace, a new beginning, and a new anointing. Receive power! Jesus is That's the grace from your mother. of the Holy Ghost. Precious of the Holy Ghost. Precious of the Holy Ghost. Desired this, you are, you are getting started. That is the anointing of God dropping on you. Pastor, I anoint you now. Supernatural grace in Jesus' name. Pastor, as this drops on you, the Spirit will touch you in Jesus' name. Man of God, it takes humility. I congratulate you at your age to be humble to come this far. Therefore, I anoint you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Pastor, I anoint you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Pastor, it is 
Many years you have been asking for this. God has done it. So receive this anointing for supernatural accomplishment in the name of Jesus Christ. Apostle, I repeat, Uganda is in your hands. Take it. That, that is small. What you showed me is small. It is not like what I'm seeing. Even what you are seeing now is great. Be ready for it. I anoint you now. It's a new beginning for you. Receive that. Prophetess. It is not a title. It's a responsibility. It is coming to pass. You will see. Apostle. As you spoke. This is the end of trap and misery. Receive that grace. Pastor, get a new chapter today. I'm opening it. Get a new chapter. With this new anointing, receive a new chapter. By the special grace of God, Prophet Baraka, Mungu wana kumbea kidi tunaita accuracy. Receive that. Pastor, umemuba mungu sana for a new beginning. You are a prayer warrior. You are also an intercessor. You are an intercessor. My father, restore the favor to your son in Jesus' name. Pastor, you prayed for 40 days for this special grace. My father, release it to your son in Jesus' name. Man of God, Pastor, as you go over the nations, the flow of the Spirit will show you the evidence. My father, I receive evidence now. Receive that it's evidence. Jesus, unguana ikomba figa. Figa count. I transfer people from friends, workers to your church. Receive them now. Thank you, Pastor, for believing in God and in His grace. Now, in you, the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Pastor, receive that special anointing in Jesus' name. Pastor Elisha, today marks the end of Yakukwama. I therefore release you to the new beginning. Receive that anointing. Man of God, Pastor Matiba. Your name is already famous. Therefore, take the road. Walk on that road. It took humility for you to come. It is humility. My Father, by special grace, I drop this anointing oil on his head and it will work for him supernaturally from this hour. Receive that. Pastor Maina, it's a special grace. I risk that anointing. Receive it inside of you. On behalf of your family, what is the name of your husband? Tango Arnold. I pray for Arnold Tango's family. As they take the gospel all over the world. Empower them and raise destiny help us. What is the name of your ministry? PH Church. My father, I anoint your son. From now, whoever he will anoint, they will get healed. What's, that? What's the name of the ministry? Huh? Jesus Healing Ministry. Healing Ministry. Healing. Kuponya. And this is the healing anointing. Amen. Now your hands will heal. Whoever you lay your hand, they will come back with a good report. Amen. Pastor, God is there for you. This is for your economy. My father, open doors for you. My apostle's daughter, 
interpret. Hey. hey, are you seeing it? Hey, this will be your powerhouse. Powerhouse. Oh, receive that anointing in Jesus' name. God has given you an opportunity for the nations. Look at me. He has opened a big network for you. You wonder why things are not happening, yet your network is all over the world. This marks, uh, it marks a new beginning. You are not a beggar. The past is over. I anoint you with a new beginning now. Bishop, you are, you are many years in America, one with West End. You are back to Kenya. God will do something. Receive an anointing for healing and nations. Pastor, don't be afraid. God is your pillar. I anoint you for a new dimension. In Jesus' name, receive the anointing. So you can see what the Lord has seen. The grace of a new dimension is coming upon you right now. Prepare your heart. My father, I anoint your daughter for a new beginning. Pastor Sammy, look at me. You know, you, you're given spiritual eyes. You, you brought me up when I was a young boy. You are my pastor. I'm now your pastor. That honor, humility, this was my teacher and my helper. You brought me up. But you have honored the grace of God upon your student. I'm now your rabbi. For that same reason, God will give you a double honor. <laughs> He's taking you out of shame by this anointing. Family, now, where you were born. Okay, but the power and the capacity to change is in you. Give it time. My father, I anoint your son with his grace for supernatural power. <laughs> Pastor Buayo, where were you born? Webuye. The Bible says, whoever serves Jesus, God will honor him. So, but much on your background, ikiwa vile hiko, Bwana anakuheshimisha kwa sia siku ya leo. Pokea heshima yako. kwa jina la Yesu Kristo ambaye amekufanya humhudumie leo ninakuwa anoint kwamba chochote unachotaka kitafanyika kwa wakati nasikia roho wa Bwana amechaa kwenye maeneo haya pokea hiyo neema Yesu anakupenda na unajua hivyo amekuinua sasa leo anakupa nehema ya hekima unapokea hekima kwa jina la Yesu receive that
That's why God brought you here. 
kwa mambo ya kiroho usichikaza sana ni mapema you will deliver the nation of burundi god has given you all the languages to deliver the nation so be ready to be used of god my father i wish the same grace to the nation of burundi 